Insert mold of that weapon and sir. Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Infinity Saga Avengers Endgame Warrior Thor or Bro Thor, Fat Thor, whatever you want to call him. So let's go over your packaging here first. So first you get the Avengers Endgame logo here furnished on the top left. Um, Marvel Legends logo here on the top right. You get the Infinity Saga logo there. Marvel Studios, Thor, Avengers A here. Here is the side art, which we've seen before. Uh, Infinity Saga here with the Marvel uh, Studios logo. Avengers logo there. Here's the back side with the Avengers Endgame art, which we saw in the uh, Iron Man and Thanos 2-pack. And if you guys want to pause and read that description, you can. Uh, it might be a little hard to see. but uh, And then you get the Thor there. Marvel Legends logo there in the corner. Here's the other side art with that Infinity Saga logo here. Avengers A. And here's the top here. Avengers Endgame logo furnished on top. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Warrior Thor out of the package here. So let's go over your accessories first. So first, let's start off with the Mjolnir hammer. So instead of having the silver um, paint over it, you still get the same mold, but they painted it blue with some lightning effects in there to give it that uh, nice, hang on, my phone is being weird. To give it that nice like feel of that he's using this actually. For a lightning strike you get that little loop there i wish they painted the little grips here to the, the ridges silver like the other thor hammers but and it's a lighter brown than usual it's not as dark i wish they painted the handle a little bit darker for the leather but oh well but you get that nice silver detail in there and then you get stormbreaker here with that same effect instead of it being silver and it's transparent plastic right here. You get the Groot um, handle here. This is the flimsy mold. I don't really like this mold that much. But I do like how they did that with the axe. I think they just kind of... It looks like they have some silver in there from the original one. But yeah, I prefer the one where the handle is not as flimsy. Uh, from, I think, Infinity War. The That figure, we're doing the comparison here in a little bit, but... Yeah, I'm not into the mold, this mold. It's just too flimsy. I'm not into it, but I like the effects that they added there. And then we get two lightning effects here that wrap around. So it's this nice transparent uh, blue. Sorry if you're hearing the rain in the background. We're having like a little bit of a big storm. But yeah, it's a nice transparent blue. And what it does or what you want to do with it is kind of like wrap the handle around it. Just like that. Boom. Boom. And usually we've gotten this effect before and when I did it, I usually hit put the blade part through one of these slots here. So that way it stays secure. And then I think for this one you kind of just want to wrap do the same thing, but you won't it's kind of a little tough to do it. So yeah, be something like that, I think. And you got two gripped hands, open hands here, which we've also seen before. So that's nice. And then finally, we get the Fat Thor, or Warrior Thor. So yeah. So if you want to change out the head sculpt so that way you don't get the blue lightning eyes, I prefer this, though, uh, because it's what it looks like in the end. But yeah, I like the glowing effect on there. Actually, it looks like they're glowing, the eyes. Get that scar across his eye there where he's got his eyes slashed out by Hela. You get the blonde hair with some darker blonde to give it more depth, you get the blonde beard braided up. You get that little braid and that little tie-up thing there at the end of the beard. And then you get this gut. You get the nice, like, shiny black here for the little circles here on his torso. You get, like, that cubed or rimmed effect on his arms. And you get the forearms here. It's pretty cool. You get some like bronze, bronze uh, detailing around the waist here, especially and some on the leg here for some lining. You get a nice sculpt here. By the way, no uh, joint peg holes there. 
So that's nice for the elbows or the knees. Here's the boots. And I like the cape a lot. It's, I like the bright red. And then you get this little detailing here, whereas the other ones, I don't think I had it. But like I said, we're doing a little comparison here in a little bit. But yeah, I like the red that they use for the cape. Uh, and then you get the black on the other side. So that's a nice little detail where I think this is the first figure that they've done it with. So yeah. And then that's all we got for the look. So let's go over the articulation. So I think it's a double ball joint head. So you can go down that far. The hair gets in the way. Beard. Head can move up that far. Hair gets in the way too. Look left and right. Some head pivoting in there. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Wrists can hinge side to side, actually. So does, they don't want to move, really. But they move side to side. 360 rotation around there. Uh, he has a ball joint here at the diaphragm. So he can go forward that far. Backwards that far. He can go side to side. I don't want to test the 360 rotation, but you can definitely rotate it if you want to. Legs can kick out that far forward that far i wouldn't expect it to move farther than that anyways backwards quite a bit actually thigh cut double joints and knees so butt kick basically and then no shin cut ankles can hinge it up that far down that far nice ankle pivot and here is fat thor next to the infinity war thor but i kind of wanted the uh, end game Thor look for my display, but now I think I'm gonna do a Infinity War shelf once I get a bigger shelf. So I'll swap swap out the heads. I just used the Bro Thor uh, extra head sculpt for the um, Infinity War one, but yeah. And then I do prefer this though; it looks way better, and cleaner. So yeah. And then, like I said, I'll switch the heads out for the regular Thor from Infinity War and just make an Infinity War shelf. And this is also the figure that came with the better uh, Stormbreaker uh, mold where it's not so flimsy, whereas this one's like too thin to the point it's like extremely, somewhat flimsy. And I don't like that. I do prefer this, but I would like this one to have it because it stays consistent with the hammer there. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I do prefer this mold for Stormbreaker. And here is Bro Thor next to the Dark World Thor from the 10 year anniversary uh, wave. Here is Bro Thor next to the Ragnarok Thor. And here is Warrior Thor next to the actual build the figure Bro Thor. So yeah, that's uh, Warrior, Bro Thor, Fat Thor, whatever you want to call him Thor uh, from Endgame, the battle, uh, final battle uh, suit. So. I do prefer this one. That's going on my big MCU shelf where I actually have Deadpool and all those other guys in there just for the big MCU shelf. Um, so, yeah, I really like this figure. The only problem that I have with it, like I said, is the Stormbreaker mold. I prefer the Infinity War mold of that weapon. And sorry about that. <laughs> um, but I guess that goes well with this figure, <laughs> the Thundering. Um, so, yeah. Um... That's all I got for this figure. The detailing, I think, is uh, detailing is good, uh, and the articulation is pretty good. Like I said, I would not expect that leg to kick forward a whole lot because, I mean, in the movie, you didn't have that much flexibility in it anyways. So, um, but came with the right right amount of accessories. I wouldn't expect any more than that. Um, but. That's all I got for this figure. So thanks for watching. Make sure you guys check out my link tree in my bio where it has my Twitch, TikTok, and PayPal if you want to help support my channel. But besides that, thanks for watching.